What's up, LNT fam? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Dr. Vlad is in the house, and today we got a new patient, 2019 Lexus NX300. This one's going through insurance company, so we'll take a closer look at the damage. And uh, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to every single one of you guys for subscribing, for showing so much love. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you turn on your notification because you don't want to miss on the new projects, new projects every week. So yeah, enough of this talk and let's take a closer look at the new patient. let's take a closer look at this patient so it's going through insurance so right now we're gonna take everything apart to see what else is damaged so far the hood bumper light fender windshield is cracked let's see on this side little fender damage here you guys could see it kind of pulled out so the whole front end kind of shifted to the left so yeah we'll take it apart right now real quick and go from there all right we opened the hood let's see what's going on here so this is all damaged headlight so right now we'll start by removing the bumper first and then the hood, fenders and all the fun stuff to see if it has any other hitting damages that we can see as of right now. Okay, so let's remove the bumper real quick and go from there. front bumper is off so let's take a closer look at what's happening headlight is busted uh, reinforcement is damaged couple plastics some damages to the water washer tank Okay, so I'll just remove all this right now so we could have a clear picture of what we're dealing with. So, yeah, let's start by removing the headlight right now. Took the whole front end apart so now we could see it looks like this is damaged frame is okay kind of pushed right here so we'll put some hours to repair this radiator condenser is good just a couple damaged plastic covers and here's the rest of the damaged parts bumper reinforcement observer plastic pieces so right now we'll call the insurance company and the adjuster will come out and write the estimate and we'll go from there. So for now we'll just leave it how it is and wait for the adjuster to come. 
we're back on the Lexus, so everything got approved. Uh, fender got jammed. Same with the hood. So right now we're gonna remove the fender, the hood, change out the hood hinges, left and the right, and then we'll see our lineup and stuff like that. So we'll start by right now removing the fender and then the hood. Fender and the hood is off, so right now I'm going to change both of the hood hinges, left and our right. Then once I change this, the fender should be better because uh, it's holding the hinge, so I kind of shifted everything. So let's start installing the hinges. And the hood got jammed. Same with the fender, so we could start installing this today. And the hinges. So yeah, we'll start test fitting, work playing with our gaps, and yeah, something like this. So I installed new hinges, new fender, new hood, and the whole front radiator support moved to the left side. If you look at the latch, it doesn't match. See, it's like by a, almost an inch, quarter inch off. So I'm gonna have to put the car on the frame machine and pull everything. And then we'll check our square. So we'll measure from from that. Lines up perfect here. And then if we do the other side. Boom. Doesn't line up. So what that means the whole front end move this way so we need to pull it back and you guys could see right here kind of pulled it so i missed the frame and just got this soft spot so we'll just pull this everything back and then install the light and the bumper make sure all the gaps are perfect and we're good to go we got a couple more parts today from bumper and one of the fog lights came in so yeah, we could start working on the uh, Lexus. We got the Lexus all secured on the frame machine, ready to go, clamped, and good to go. So we'll start pulling the car. Just gotta pull the front end a little bit. All right, let's take a closer look. Since the reinforcement got hit on the side, it kind of moved the radiator support, everything to the left. So right now, we gotta remove the, the AC condenser, the radiator, pretty much free everything right here. Remove the headlight and then we're gonna do a nice pull. Make our square perfectly squared. 
then we'll start putting the car back together. We're gonna pull all this out. Yeah, because the whole front end shifted to the left. So we gotta pull everything right. So yeah, we gotta free this up. And remove everything and start pulling. So let's do it. So right now we freed everything up. So we gotta remove both of the radiators and the condensers. So right now we're gonna drain the coolant, remove them and then start pulling. Alright, everything's removed. We removed the radiator. So everything is free here. The only thing we got left is the AC condenser. Uh, we're gonna do that in a minute. We're waiting for our AC machine. We let somebody borrow it, so they're gonna bring it back. We'll suck all the juice out and pretty much ready to pull. I took the screws off the upper radiator support and if you put it here. Everything matches up, but on this side doesn't, so we need to pull this to the right. Alright, we got our snap-on machine, so we're getting the Freon out of the AC condenser in the car. So once we remove all that, we could remove the condenser. So right now we're gonna hook up this uh, arm and start pulling the front of the car so we could align everything and ready to go. So right now we got this chain hooked up, so we're gonna just pull by the chain and kind of bring this more out. got it but just a little bit more and we got it so we got the chain right now 
I'm gonna put one here, one bolt here, one bolt here, so this way we got a nice support and we could do the pull. So we finally are able to close the hood, but the gaps are still really bad. And same on this side. You guys could see, still everything kind of bad, so we still gotta work on those gaps. So we'll do that right now. Alright, so we got this side all perfect, gaps are good, so now we gotta work on this side. This is how it looks right now, it looks really bad. So yeah, gotta work on this side right now. Fourteen and a half. Fourteen and a quarter. Fourteen and a quarter and fourteen and a quarter on this side. Let's check this in the square. Boom, this is good. Let's check the other side. And boom, right on the money. So it looks like our square is good. And then if we try to close the hood, the hood lines up as well. And boom, everything closes. Gap is good on this side. And pretty good on this side, just a little bit more adjustment and the gaps will be perfect. Right, Ivan? What do you think? Simon. Simon? Alright, let's take a closer look, all the gaps are perfect, let's check on the other side, boom, same thing, perfect gaps, so now we could start putting the radiator 
condenser all the good stuff together and then we'll start prepping and painting the car all right guys we're finished with part one stay tuned for part two in part two we'll start putting the car together radiator condenser putting the coolant in getting the car off the frame machine into the paint department and we'll start prepping the car and getting it ready for paint it's a three-stage paint so i'm going to record the whole process so you guys could see what we have to go through to make the car 100 percent perfect so you guys don't want to miss out and if you're new to this channel make sure you guys subscribe turn on your bell notification because i got new content every week new week new car so you guys definitely don't want to miss out and for now we'll end the video here and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace